Water line, drain line, it's out of the home, it's already inside, got to clean out, hack that off ground level, put a cap on it, that's by gravity, water line for the machine shed, it was way deep, 5 foot to 6 foot, quarter inch fall per foot to the tank, and then the sewage ejector from the machine shed because there will be a bathroom in there comes up and goes into the side of the tank clean out straight down and that will just be a little short fitting in there that goes all the way back to the machine shed where there's a bathroom fall to the tank 2,000 gallon tank with a 250 ejection so the last Primary and secondary settling, then the last one's the ejection, checks it out. Straight up the pit here. So this will be a two inch, and this will drain back to the tank. So there's fall back to the tank. Then there's a four inch pipe with the cap, two inch line goes through it, that's so you don't crush it and freeze it. Then it goes from there, falls to the Absorption bed. Here's your four inch with a cap. Two inch comes out of it And it drops down straight into the bed. This has 630 feet of line and 2100 square feet of absorption so you can't see it, but there's lines every 35 inch I believe 34 and 5 8 is what The minimal and then so when you get to grade here's a clean out and then when we get it, the dirt piled around, health department's on their way right now for inspection. We'll just cut that off, and then that is a, you know, flush, flush box. Makes it look nice. Landscaper box. That's it. What a mess. Huge, huge mess. But, but uh, safe. Here, we'll just run in here real quick. So those lines go through the ditch, offset trench, uh, six and seven foot, all the way to the side. And then uh, I'm gonna build a shelter in here that has heat. So there'll be like a five by eight box by eight foot tall, so it'll have R20 walls and R49 ceiling. And then I got a piece of foam separating the lines. Water lines comes in and comes back and it comes up through the ground right there. And then so we got a sewage ejection. So you have grinder pump in there, water closet, and lavatory. So in those, this will get revented to this, and that'll go through the roof. And then this just ejects from the pump straight down to the tank. And then that water supply will come straight from the basement of the home. So pretty cool.